Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod I've never played before, and that's called Cold War Iron Curtain, A World Divided. Now if you want to check out this mod for yourself, please, it's in the uh, description below, first link. But if you like, take a look at the map, this is my first campaign playing this, this mod, I'm really excited because it's 1949, we're playing as People's Liberation Army, and we're in the middle of a war apparently against the Republic of China, so we'll see what happens. I don't know how this is going to go, I hope it goes okay, but let's start with the focus. Um, we have Lessons from the Liberation War, which would be interesting, but, uh, and uh, there's there's so much here, there's just, there's so much in this mod, like, I don't know anything about this, it gets an event, we get more daily political power, I like that, but I do like economic recovery, which actually kind of hurts us a little bit, but it's kind of good, do collectivization of the people, because we get more uh, political power, and we could use a lot more political power, Urgh. economic recovery first, no description, but that's okay, so let's see what happens, we literally start off against the other Chinese folk, so, hello, non-aggression pact, non aggression back to East Turkestan, and yes, that is our fat boy here, a lovely uh, m chairman here, who's starting to show signs of aging. Just look at that forehead. That hair is still pretty nice, but that forehead is just taking over his head more and more and more. And we have also have some decisions here. Uh, I'm going to put it out here early on. Like, um, if you know how to play this mod or things I should be aware of, things things I should be aware of in this mod, please let me know in the comments below. I this is my like I said, this is my very first campaign. And I wasn't sure who to choose. People told me East Germany, but I'm like, eh, maybe East Germany, maybe we'll see. Um, I guess I'm moving towards the line or something. What's going on here, guys? Because uh, I want you all on the line here, guys. Please. There we go. There we go. Cool. Because if you look at this, there's the GDP mechanic. You open it up. There, there, there's, uh, there, we've got a Commodore here. Like, and then we've got an actual economic overview. Like, bro, this is this literally is Vicky 2 here. So, and we have uh, food production. We're losing fuel. F fuel? Well, we're getting fuel, but we're losing food. So, we really are communists here, so. And we're losing political power. Oh, my God. <laughs> also, here are the national spirits. We have an endemic government corruption. We have banditry. We have no international credibility. We have widespread agrarian bourgeoisie pestilence, or persistence. We have hyperinflation. We have the People's Army, which is really good for attack on core territory. And we have low integration of former administration. So, I mean, as much as you're getting plus 25% more political power is Mao... It's god awful here in China. So we'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can. I just wanted to go into war early on, so yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Oh, hello. Uh, please extend your line over. I'm so not used to how this is supposed to look. So you guys actually come over here because this is already split up by a river somewhere, somewhere. So and it looks like we are missing equipment, tank destroyers, and light tanks. There's just there's so much. I don't know. I just don't know what we need here. Um, this is kind of why one of the reasons why I did not want to play like Millennium Dawn or something like that, just because it, it just looks so complex. It just looks really complex, and I play, and honestly, Tino is not that complex, but like, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I I think we'll get stuff from the Soviets. The Soviets are good boys, right? Oh, they're attacking us now again. Hopefully, we can just kind of push and do okay. We'll see what happens. Can you help us out here, guys? Uh, hopefully, we can do well. Oh, we're doing okay. We're definitely doing okay. Oh, what is this? Start Lendley's request. Sure, guys. Sure, Yugoslavia. Um, not... Hello. P cool Korea. And look at Korea. I mean, look at the map itself. It looks so cool. I love... I love the look of the map. It's so unique. It's like... It's like an actual like globe you can run your finger over. And you can feel all the mountains and the, like and stuff like that and hills. It's just like so cool. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm, I'm impressed with this mod already. There's just... There's just so much here. How many people have died already? <laughs> That's a real question. Only 21,000, that's not too bad. Actually, how strong is the other China? Oh my gosh, Li Zongren. The Kuomintang. 5, 6 million manpower, tons of divisions. Can we see how much stockpile they have? We cannot. I just hope we can win. What do we have here? Uh, monthly fi financial pulse. What is that? Always follow the calculations and ticks are running in this category. Simply ignore them as they are necessary for the mod to run properly. Cool. Oh, oh god, we have attrition here? Oh, how bad is it? Why is it so bad? Oh, it's very... Oh, oh god, it's very hot. Oh god, I don't know, man. I hope we can do okay here. I do have any upgrades, actually. We only have 11 manpower, though, which is not very good, but whatever. Um, keep going, guys. Looks like you're doing well so far. Eh, that's gonna be one. Release of the 1984. On June 8th, 1949, George Orwell published a dystopian novel, 1984, set in the distant year of 1984. It focuses on three megalo megalithic states and the constant shifting war on each other and their on their own people. During the early 50s, the U.S., or the U Kingdom, actually, becomes involved in a third world war, this time involving nuclear weapons used 
over Japan in 1945. Britain follows a civil war with the authoritarian English Socialist Party, or INGSOC, emerging victorious. In the authoritarian state, thoughts are police, history is revised, and a cult of personality to the mustachioed Big Brother reigns supreme. What nonsense! We love Big Brother! He would never hurt us. Big Brother would never, ever, 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 ever hurt us. We cut off all... Well, I guess 113, 14,000 doesn't really matter since, uh... Well, it really doesn't. That's China. APCs and main battle tanks. Okay, so where is that? The Gong Chen APCs and main battle tanks. Main basic. Hmm. Wait. APCs and main battle tanks, right? Is that the main battle tank? Medium tanks? There it is. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Are right, you guys coming to the top? Um. Ooh, how many guns do we not have? Are we out of guns? Where is this? Oh, oh, we got 81, 82,000. Jesus. That's not bad. So we have 8,100. We got plenty of support equipment. Uh, we can go down by one. Good tanks. And let's grab some APCs. Automatic cannons. Heavy mechanized. Advanced mechanized transport. APCs. Are, it's cool. All right. And we're two on. Now nah, I've got to keep two on trucks because we need quite a few of them. So we'll see what happens. So far, it feels like we're doing okay. Events or decisions, timeouts. That's fine. Petrochemical straight. Oh. Oh, we have economic recovery, which is good. I get. Oh, we ran a oh, consumer goods. Um, collectivization of the people. Sure, why not? Sig significant agrarian bourgeoisie. Persist. Best once it goes down. We get more political power. We lose more consumer goods. So now we literally have like no fuel, which is really not good. Uh, of course, continually attacking is not good either. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. And none of our guys have upgrades yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, I hope attacking crazily is not a bad idea. We've cut off one hundred fifty thousand of them, which is pretty good, I'd say. But, but still. If we keep going, I think we'll do okay, right? 7,000 versus 167,000. That's not terrible. End of the Greek Civil War. Interesting. Oh, what, what's going on around here? The Greek Democratic Army is capitulated. We have the Italian Republic. Um, we have uh, the French Republic. we got the Federal Republic of Germany. Your FPP Foreign Power Projection. Oh, I don't know what that even means. We have Kahneman Forum. So that's a Soviet... No. Soviet Military Administration in Germany. And we also have Mr. Stalin, Lenin's successor. Terrifying paranoiac. Okay. Probably go to Turkey, Imperial State of Iran. We have Mr. Harry Truman here. And we've got some guy over there and some Mexicans here who, who are leading the Mexican states. Some happy guy. Cool. The French Republic, this is just. This is all going to be really sad soon. It's all going to get divided up and. Oh. Oh. So sad. Can you actually help out here? Or are we just. Yeah, you got like no organization. Well, we're getting a lot of army XP. We're doing okay ish. Not bad. I'm not really sure this is what we're supposed to be doing, but. I guess we'll see. Not bad, I guess. We're pushing straight through here, which is really nice. As long as it can't naval invade us, we'll, we'll kind of be okay. Not seeing any upgrades. Yes, are you guys... Yeah, they're definitely learning. Oh. 30% uh, towards infantry leader. Field Marshal Mao Zedong is doing a great job. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, collectivization of the people. All right, so now we only get point... A little bit more. Oh, this will help us out. Land reform. Yes! Mao's land reforms did nothing wrong historically. Absolutely nothing wrong. Also, let's know, like, what? Is it, what, was it historical or something like that? So, the fall of Shanghai, after a bitter campaign, PLA forces entered Shanghai victoriously. Both the PRC and ROC view control of Shanghai, the largest and most economically powerful city in China. Control of the city is seen as essential for either side to claim victory. Both committed large military forces for the campaign. The ROC hoped to maintain control of the city and use it as a base to eventually restore the rule across China for the communists. Control of the city will help greatly legitimize its rule across China and cripple ROC resistance. The ROC forces fought intensely, but due to several military blunders, the forces were overwhelmed by the PLA. The PLA claims to have captured many prisoners and large amounts of equipment, though the ROC denies the Claims. Considering how much resources the ROC committed to defending Shanghai, observers now believe the PLA may have an insurmountable advantage over the ROC of the mainland. Another blow to the KMT. Nice. You know, oh, that's, dude, that's a lot of divisions. Don't go there. If you want to just keep them pinned for now, it's fine. Supreme Court frees the Hollywood 10. All right, a voice of reason in this chaos. So be it, so be it. It seems like we just push and go and we'll be okay. Obviously, here's not great, but, you know, we can probably cut them off later on. Sending these guys into mounts is really difficult, or not good. But at the same time, I really don't like... These look like NATO counters. And I prefer, like, actually seeing, like... The the normal type of Hoi 4 vanilla type of, uh... Units. Just because I don't like NATO counters on a... That's probably just me, but still. We could send guns to Vietnam, but we have no political powers. We can get some um, Protestant missionaries, but only if we didn't have state atheism, so... Uh, we could purchase support equipment and motorized. Do we need that? Mm-hmm. We could probably use that. Let's try that. So, for $50 billion, we don't have that much money, honestly. That's a lot of money. 
500 units of independent industrial support equipment is added to the national stockpile. Okay. Why not? Oh, wait. Wait, why did I ask? Buy that one. Screw it. Get the other one. And we lost more money. And we can't really hire mercenaries, so it'll be what it'll be. We can build stuff here, too. Like, if we take a look at this thing, um, take out a loan. We can get loans. We can build water infrastructure, uh, state municipal infrastructure. So, I'm not really sure. I just want to end, like, the food production deficit, so... And we have other buildings. We have military factories. We have civvies that cost electricity, steel, and like petrochemicals. We got dry docks, and we have like energy as well, but we can't build anything because we don't have civvies. There's power plants, which hurts petrochemicals. We got power plants renewables, so basically renewable energy. Power plant nuclear, which we would like to get eventually. Petrochemical refinery, which is not bad. I like that. Foundry district, um, it's not bad. And we have rare earth hydro metallurgy plant, as well as nuclear weapons manufacturing plant. Highly dangerous. That sounds like fun. But, yeah, I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so this is my, this is my literal first campaign in this, as you might know. So, um, half a million have died, so that's not bad. I think I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. So, we got some land reform. Nationalize the four families' industries. Um, that's okay. Get some output. I want, oh my gosh, weakened agrarian bourgeoisie with protected landlords. We lose even more political power, but we get political power. What? Allow small private businesses. You get more research speed, experimental peasant collectivization. Remove experimental peasant collectivization, huh? Food consumption, oh god. Resource consumption, oh god, that's not good. Um, eh, it's not great. I think I'm going to just go with established contacts with the outside world. So get some more daily political power, which would be good. We'll see what happens, man. <laughs> uh, how far are they? They're not, probably not that close to capitulating. Five, half a million. So we'll probably end up going to Taiwan since we literally have no navy, so. Um, I'd love to just get over here. You might actually just be able to beat him up that way. Nice. Go, my fat man, Mao. Go. And we have no planes either, so. It is what it is. I'd love to get to the mountains, cut these guys off cut these guys off through these mountains and such. But we'll see what happens. It's lagging very hard now. I've heard this mod is extremely taxing on your computer. So we'll see what happens. Um, there's no guarantees that we'll you know play for a super long time, but what? these guys are cut off. Nice. Good job, guys. Wuhan. Oh, everyone loves Wuhan, China. Nothing bad comes out of Wuhan. Nothing totally bad comes out of there. Why can we win so well? I'm guessing some paratroopers. And we do have plus 75% attack on here, too, but still. If you guys can get in there and here before you can kill these guys off, that'd be really great. You're just flipping over random. Nice job, guys. Come on. No. All right, they got it circled. Radio Free Europe. Look at that. Interesting. Yay! Good job, guys. Keep on going. You're doing a great job. I'm not sure what I'm doing here yet, but that's okay. We're doing a great job regardless. Whoa! The PRC establishes foreign ministries. The People's Republic of China has established foreign ministries in the USA and the Soviet Union after the four-year-long war and even before that with the Republic of China. The People's Republic of China is claiming the government to be the one true China. Well, the Republic of China has occupied Taipei. But now it seems the USSR has recognized the new Chinese government, while the U.S. has still recognized the Republic of China as the one China. Are we welcome? Mongolian recognition campaign. Um, okay, well, interesting news. And then, Siam to Thailand. Thailand changes national name once more. Well, good luck. And Abdul Hossein Hazir found dead. Well, hard times for Iran continue. Um, lobby Asiatic countries for recognition. I like that. Lobby for European recognition. Oh, let's do the Asian ones first. We get another event. Is that... I guess those are Chinese characters. I'm not, not, not entirely sure. So now we're losing less political power, but we're still losing political power. Yay! <laughs> Kuang Cho would be nice to get. Soonish. They've lost 800,000. We've only lost 20,000. Jesus Christ. That's flipping broken. That plus 75% attack. Low integration. That's so much. Attack on core territory. That's just insane. Ooh, we have planes in reserve? We actually have a plane. We got one. Alright. And we'll take them. We're, probably, we're honestly probably going to lose them, but whatever. Be careful when the Chinese communists attack. Oh, we cut these guys off. That's really nice. We should just be able to win easily now. Well, relatively easily. Are y'all good or something? Or Harumuchi? And go all over there because you can and go down here and then go over here and then go over here and go over here. See what y'all can do. Israel joins the United Nations. Interesting. Oh yeah, look at all this. Oh, they have the Jewish state. Hey, David Ben Gurion. I've seen you before. Czechoslovakian. Do you have a unique fo don't. Oh, they have a unique Okay, Israel sometime in this mod. Sometime. Hello. And then what do we have? Palestine? No, no, this is Jordan. Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Abdullah the first. 
Is that a generic focus tree? No, nope. eh, no, not really. The Jordanian economy. The Syrian Republic. Husni al Zaim. Lebanese Republic too. My goodness. Ah, the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia. Joseph Bros Tito. Interesting. You gotta play as Tito sometimes, man, right? You gotta play as big old Tito. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. People's Republic of China lobbying efforts for Asian recognition. The People's Republic of China is furthering its diplomatic recognitions as of recently. The chairman of the PRC has started to ask for nations to recognize its legitimacy over its nationalist counterpart, the Republic of China. As soon as it emerged from the Civil War, the People's Republic of China was immediately recognized by the USSR, and the states had to compromise its sphere of influence, such as the Socialist Republic of Romania, the Polish People's Republic, and the Hungarian People's Republic. China is asking for recognition from Asian states such as India and North Vietnam. Many experts claim that it is a question of a time until the PRC is recognized worldwide, while others claim that the idea of a PRC C being an internationally recognized state is a pipe dream, and the fate is so uncertain. Interesting. Lobby for European recognition, right? Or growing international credibility. Uh, what is that? So we get plus 0.5. So now we're losing less, which is good, but still. Still. Establishment of the Plevin Pan? Okay, interesting. Good luck with that, whatever that is. And we have some Yak 9s, nice. Chinese research is best up research. I didn't know they could do that too. Cool. Here's some ground support. I love it. Y'all have pretty much completed your objectives already, so do that. Whee! There you go. Three, two, one. Let's grow, 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 grow. A million have died. We have more divisions than them now, so we've done pretty darn well, I'd say. Pretty darn well. I will say this. I kind of doubt that the devs are watching this, but maybe they are. But it's kind of hard to tell the difference of what the things you have researched and what's available you can click on here. Because I can, I can barely see that you can click on these two. I only know they're available because it's always that's always available. So, oh, we need way more trucks. Holy crappy daddies. Oh. Wow. We got we need a lot of things here. A lot more artillery. We're doing okay on total artillery one, but we need more light artillery, huh? I don't know. What templates do you guys use when you play this mod? What templates do you use? If you play this mod, of course. Sometimes you guys don't play the mods I do because sometimes you can't run the mod, which I totally understand. But, like, if you play, like, this mod, what templates do you use that you find that are most successful? Is it just your standard 40 combo with, with maybe some armor or stuff like that? Please let me know in the comments below. People's Republic are lobbying efforts for European recognition. Following the attempts of the PRC to have diplomatic recognition from its Asian neighbors, the communist nation is now branching out into other spheres. In this case, Europe. Switzerland is presenting itself as quite being quite interested in recognizing China and other Scandinavian countries, such as Denmark, Sweden, and Finland are all very positive prospects for this new attempt at recognition by the PRC. It's still a matter of geopolitical maneuvering, but Chairman Mao has expressed that he is quite positive when it comes to having his nation recognized by the West, and experts are assuming that it is likely that it will be recognized in the near future. Interesting. Isolate, isolate ourselves. Okay, improve relations modifiers, encryption gets better, but decryption gets worse. I think we're going to wait for that. How about we grab some Soviet industrial aid? Three off-map industrial parks. What are industrial parks? Okay, so that's cities. That's basically cities. Okay. We've got a lot of army XP after this war. Oh, that feels so bad for them. Not really, though. Completely enveloped. Completely encircled. Ready to die for the nation. For its nation. Its traitorous nation. Ah. Uh, oh, they actually freed him. Nice. And they got cut back off. Nice. Good job, guys. Only a billion of, or a million have died so far. Actually, how many have we lost? 200,000? That is kind of extreme, not going to lie. So what do they give up? Because down here, they're doing really poorly. Oh, hello. Well, they headed over there anyway, so... Oh, the Soviet RDS-1 nuclear test. One step closer to midnight. Tick tock, tick tock. Dimitri Dimitri's appearance before Hwok naming communist. Yes. Oh, Hwok. House of Un-American Activities. You are not allowed to be a commie on this soil here. Prepare to be terminated. Soviet industrial aid. I love it. And let's go and rebuild the damaged factories. More basically civvies and, and military factories. So I think that's pretty... That's worth it, right? Right? I could be wrong, though. Okay, how close are they? Like, come on, guys. Come on. World War II construction. Okay, so look at the research stuff. There's so much research here. I don't know what's good and bad. I mean, I want to research everything, but like... I don't know, man. Computers? We're researching this, this right now, but um, this looks all ahead of time a little bit. Well, this one isn't. World War II computers. We can't do any of this stuff yet. Um, our, 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 there's just so much here. Holy, look at all the stuff here. I don't know. Anti-tank. Already upgraded one. 
More defense, breakthrough soft stack. Sure, that sounds good, right? Uh, land auction. Um, I feel like we need to go mass assault. But still, mm, recovery goes up. I mean, we don't need any more population here. Oh, hold on. There's, there's more? People's War. Infantry combat with minus point. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Civil Resistance? Holy crap. I don't know which one's worth it the most. Oh, Jesus Christ. Factory output? More organization, non core manpower? What's, there, what's this stuff? Tidebreaker? Um. Hmm. I, I guess I'll probably just go with, with tried and true, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. I apologize for not knowing. Like I said, this is my first time playing this mod, so yeah. The Republic of China is going to look very sad, as it should. Also, I'm, I am in no way sponsored by the PRC. That'd be really cool if I was, but I'm not. Oh, hello. Oh, they're almost over there. I don't think this will be mattering too much, right? Here, just give me one of you guys. Here you go. Hey. Soviet sus DDR established. Hey, look at that. The DDR exists. There goes unification. Soviets suspend claims of the Turkish Straits, except for a piece. Well, somewhat. Hey, come in for him. Willem Peek. Stalin's puppet. After the rise of Hitler, he emigrated to Prague, then to Paris, and later Moscow. He's deeply trusted by Stalin. Makes sense. Um, can we get more food? The Republic oh, there we go. Annexing the ETR. The people of the East Turkestan Republic were originally part of China. They started their own revolution against China, just like we did. But they were part of our country, so they should be part of our country again. Ah, yes. Yes. Yili, there's nothing wrong going on over here in this part of China, especially in our modern day. Nothing wrong with it. The Republic of China and Taiwan, the second phase of the Chinese Civil War, has come to an end. The Republic of China and the People's Republic of China have been fighting for three years now. Even before that, they were fighting since 1927 up to 36 when China was invaded by the Japanese Empire. After World War II, the fighting resumed in a stalemate up until 48. In 1948, the Communist Chinese forces broke through Beijing and went into central China, causing hundreds of thousands of democratic Chinese soldiers to be encircled. This year, however, there was peace talks with the Marshall Mission about possible armistice with the division of China, or a peace plan. That plan failed, and the fighting continued with the Yangtze Offensive into southern China. After several routes by the Republic of China, the Republican government has fled to the island of Taiwan. Chiang Kai-shek has stated that the Republic of China lives on, and that one day the Republic of China flag will be waved over the mainland China again. Reports of hundreds of thousands of soldiers and refugees are fleeing to Tibet, to Burma, to Thailand, and Taiwan. Are they still alive? Not for long. Oh, we got Mongol... But Look at these guys we got. Are these guys militias? I don't like militias. Okay, bye-bye. I don't trust you. Sorry. Nothing personal, kid. Mm, just in case, let's do that. We'll see what happens. So we have no more food. Uh, I don't like the Mongolians either, so... Maybe we won't do that, but... Hmm. What's going on down here? It seems like a mess everywhere we look, so... Actually, you know what? Put it against Korea. As much as we... I love, I love, love, love how they did Korea. Look at this. It's so straight. Just like history, like real life. Wait, we can play... Korea... Korea has a unique focus tree? Also, we started... There's three st there's starting points. What was it? 49, 60, and 70? Or something like that? I got... Oh, Jesus Christ. And there's stuff here, too. Like, I don't even know what's here. Can we go to basic military structure? Cost us more. 40% more. Uh, no web throw spending. You get more political power. It does cost per capita, though. It costs 150 PP to change. Public education. The more education you get, the less um, population growth you get, which does make sense. Policing and intelligence. So, local sovereignty. Metro police. Um, military police state. I love that. Medical system. Nice. Public services stuff. Cool. Cool. Um, oh, oh, we have policies here too. Fiscal policies. Social. Oh, okay. Fiscal, social, sex laws. Sign me up. Sex laws. Cool. Religious policies. We are in state atheism and secularism. Women's rights. Wait. So we have equality, women's rights, or positive action. Hurts our population growth. The group population goes up a little bit more. Stability goes down. Give more production efficiency gain. Semi-traditionalism. Traditionalism. Labor laws. We have state unions, okay. Pro union, pro labor, pro union, neutral. Execution of Gandhi's assassin, okay. Um, establishment of the Korean People's War Workers Party, alright. 
We rebuild the damaged fa factories and isolate ourselves. I don't want to do that one yet. Foundations of the Repu People's Republic of China. I think that one's worth doing. And also the time go on just to see what happens. Um, anything else? Media laws, 300 PP. Minority rights. We give equal rights to minorities? Slightly reduces racial tension. I saw from the tutorial, it says we can have race wars in this mod, so... You never know. Oh, wait, are you, are you still down here? How are you still down here? Still on. How are we supposed to invade them? All we can make are convoys. Oh, and I want, like... Are you guys doing okay there? Eh, maybe not. Let's... Yeah, going over there is a bit extreme, so let's do this. Whee! Whee! Cool. Oh, we probably can't get down there, can we? That sucks. Something like that. There you go. Uh, is there any way we can piece these guys out? Hmm. Activates mission in the Battle of Hainan. Becomes controller and owner. So what does that do? Oh, hello. Well, welcome, guys. Uh, I appreciate you joining our side here. Um, if you can go straight on in, that'd be quite delightful. So, yeah, that's not bad. All right. Women in the workplace, Battle Pine on. We should win this one pretty darn soon. I feel bad for the PRC, but or the R ROC, but whatever. And Haiko is ours. Nice. Completed. Yay, right? Oh, so we just... Oh, whoops, I clicked on that too quickly. So we just had to sign a white piece. Okay, get out of here, China. I'll just take more attrition. The formation of the pat... Let Patlet Lao, a new movement had risen in Laos. The Lao People's Party, later called the Patlet Lao, as a Marxist Leninist guerrilla movement that has been created by the Prince Soup Han Ovong, who met Ho Chi Minh and is close ties with the Min Viet Minh. Originating from Lao Isara, the anti French non communist nationalist movement was adopted by Mr. Soup, who joined the Viet Minh's revolt against the French in the First Indochina War. Many claim that the Patet Lao are a mere extension of the Vietnamese communists, while others claim that it is an independent movement that is dedicated to the liberation of Lao from capitalist and American elements. Laos is now divided between monarchists and communists, and few can wager if the nation itself can support the infighting. Will all of Indochina go red? And Foundation New China. Look at this handsome guy. Well, he's getting kind of. You know, pudgy here, but the People's Republic of China finally won a civil war against the Republic of China. The second phase of the Chinese Civil War has come to an end. Cool. I've already read a lot of this. It wasn't until late 49 that the Republic of China fled to Taiwan and other parts of Southeast Asia. Premier Mao has declared a new China and one that will be largely the only strong China. Hundreds of thousands gathered in Beijing as they watched Mao Zedong give a speech. The war in China has been calmed down for now. It may last forever. I don't know. Where's Beijing? What do you mean? We got Peking with Beijing. Oh, what you talking about, man? What you talking about? Oh, look at this. Strong, we're going to replace st strong illegal opposition with medium illegal opposition. Better weekly war support and stability. I like that a lot. So now we've got some people to do stuff. I don't know what to do with this stuff. What do we build here? Just water infrastructure? Is that good? State infrastructure? Is that good? What is municipal infrastructure? Auto queue civil defense st structure? Auto queue strategic reserves and power plants? I don't know, man. I guess we can close out of that one. And we have the CIA, the Communist International Aid. Sending weapons to a commerce help them in their fight against imperialists. I mean, is Vietnam doing... Is Vietnam... Are they fighting? Ah, look at that. Ho Chi Minh. Get some better max entrenchment. I wonder how they do the uh, missing data, huh? Strain Geheim. Um, the Vietnam War here. Are these guys doing okay? I don't know. We could try to send it maybe a little bit. It's only 5 PP. There you go. There you can have some stuff. Um, wait, what? State Unions. I, wait, what did I just spend it on? I just went to pro unions. Oh, whoops. Jordan adopts a Jordanian dinar. Okay, interesting. Whoopsie. Oh, wait, we have stuff here too. Whoops, my bad. Whoopsie. Huh. Nuclear production goes way down. Armed nuclear stockpile. Um, okay. Semi recognized state. Okay. We have total mobilization. We probably want to go down to war economy some other time because that would probably be better. Actually, you don't get that much difference. I mean, this is this helps with uh, construction of a lot of stuff. But this hurts a lot more construction speed. I'm good. Ah, actually, this all 25%. Early mobilization is probably better if you want to build more civilian stuff. A closed economy still bid was probably a good idea as well. My bad. I spent political power when we weren't supposed to. Oh, well. Uh, or maybe we were. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Let's get some assault rifles. Hey, it's 1950. Oh, look at that. Um, construction speed is good. Uh. Chetlets? Is that good? Production? Retention? More income? I like income. Income is good, right? Computers would be good, though. We're still researching this, so it's going to take some time. 
encryption, office park income, mobilization speed, command bar increase is nice. Factory bomb vulnerability. I just want to get some more uh, political power, but I don't think that's going to really happen anytime soon. We got some helicopters and dr drones. We have. Oh my gosh, there's so much here, man. There really is just so much here. Spacecraft. Space uh, spacecraft. What? Weapons of. Oh my god. Eight hundred days. Jesus Christ. I just don't know, man. Su oh, which one? We got the Gong Chen. There's so much here. What do I choose? Can we get better guns? Let's just get better guns. Screw it. I don't know what to choose, man. Am I not supposed to take state unions? So how do we know which one we select? We just, I just clicked on state unions because it was green. Pro union gives us what? Some good stuff. It hurts our construction speed, though. Current effects. Production. So we are state unions, and we've gone with pro union. Pro employer labor. So I guess that's okay, I guess. Stalinization of the Korean People's Army. Okay. Um, campaign to suppress counter revolutionary seems really nice. How about this one? Okay. Register formal Kuomanting officials. That sounds like a good thing to do, right? And we clearly get. We lose political power. Okay. Um, that's not good. Um, get more political power. Anyway, we can get more PP? I like more PP, please. Senator McCarthy gives Lincoln Day speech. Okay. Well, this won't end well. Um, so we have this. We have these policies. Social policies? Yes. Um, PP, anything from PP population growth? No PP, no PP, it looks like. PP, oh yes, yes. Oh, finance, fiscal ones. Military stuff, of course. So the green is the one we're currently on. So, uh, minimum services, infrastructure, nominal population growth, military police, nice. Population growth, cool, research speed. Oh, this one gives us more PP. I like that one. It hurt, costs more, but we can get more PP and construction speed. So that's good. Decentralized stuff. Yeah, I want this one. Arrgh. We not have enough money for this stuff? I hope we do. And what is this one? More political power, weekly stability. We get Lao Guys, which gives us less weekly manpower, but we're China, so it doesn't even matter. We get that much, so much. Low illegal opposition. What is the low legal opposition? Oh, that sucks. Oh, are we losing weekly... Stability? I have no idea. Yeah, we're losing war support every week. Well then, okay. Look at our uh, uh, funds, current money, not bad. Most of our expenses come from what? The military. Is there a way to demobilize a little bit? Like, cut it down, like mothball them for like a few months, like we do in TNO, or I, nah. The Lao failed coup in Afghanistan. Lao air disaster, that's not good. A tragedy. Um, I just want to build stuff, but we can't build stuff because we have no factories assigned because we have way too many consumer goods. We didn't get... Uh, negotiate arms contracts. Seek additional arms contracts from suppliers. First, cho choose a supplier source. And then, choose a type of contract you desire. G King Farouk, alright, interesting. Lebanese-Israeli ceasefire, good news. The execution of Trajko Kostov. Trajko Kosta, the former head of the Bulgarian Communist Party, was executed by the Bulgarian government. He'd been dismissed by the Central Committee and stripped of party membership several months ago after his arrest. He was accused of deviating from Marxist Leninism by embracing nationalism, undermining Soviet ties, and being an agent for Western intelligence agencies. During the trial, Kosta was not able to offer an effective defense and was swiftly found guilty. As Kosta was being tried, its supporters within the party were being arrested and put on trial as well as on similar charges. They're also expected to be found guilty and sentenced to long prison sentences. Many believe the trials were show trials meant to purge the party of Kosta and his supporters and strengthen the pro-Soviet faction within the party. That sucks for you, man, but you're dead now. So your education through work. Ah, re-education. Nice. So, yeah, we can't even build anything. Anything else here? Like, it seems like we got some more stuff. Um, no, really just stuff. We can't do anything with that. I guess we could buy more stuff from these guys. We could buy some light jets. Not bad. We've got some more money, though. $200 billion, which we do have 100, 600 some. I like light jets. That kind of seems kind of nice. Um, we can get some money. Current investment amount, $25 billion. Wait. Spending money, more money than you have, will incur high debt interest rates. Toggle investment amount. How do we toggle this? $25 million. Um, Toggle auto queue amount. Take out loans. I don't want any loans. Uh, okay. Well, I really don't know. Oh, oh god, it's, it's one, minus 119. How do we improve this? How do we get more for food? We want more food for our people. Actually, how, how's the military doing? No one has upgrades yet. Is anyone like hurting from attrition or anything like that? No? You're all okay? Cool. Um, 
Hmm. How do I get more food? Because that's not good. Can we import some food? We have no factories. Okay. Um... We need agricultural complexes. And so we have to look at desolate mountains, desert or tundra, lush desert or temperate mountains, boreal temperate or year-round. Provide state with food. Increase output from, with fertile biomes. Requires at least one water infrastructure to produce full output. I don't know. How can you see this? Because you can go to, what is it, uh, terrain. But which one is it? Is it just the green ones you want to put them in? Because it's kind of hard to see. This forest looks really nice. Um... This one produces some food for us here. Is it good to do it? I'm just going to assume the green ones. Like, So, unless there's another map mode, please let me know in the comments below because I really have no idea. Uh, I'm going to put it here in Kyung Si. So, there you go, man. If we could get some food, that'd be great. I know we're communists, but we don't want to be starving too much. Purge the administration. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Level 2 party supremacy with level 3 party supremacy is kind of nice. Preserve the administration. So replace party 2 level part level, level 1. Replace low integration of the former administration with medium integration. That's not bad. Peasant linked administrators or state linked administrators. I don't know which one was which. I like purging stuff. Um, I don't know. Preserve it? You lose weekly stability though and I don't like that. Peasant linked administrators. What is Lao Gauss? We lose, we lose in Gauss right now. We lose even more, though. We get more weekly stability, though. And even more weekly stability. This doesn't give you any stability. This is only going to hurt us. I want to purge the administration. God dang it, we're going to purge the living crap out of them. So be it. Peasant-linked administrators? I, I guess? I, I guess. Sorry, guys. You're all going to get purged. So after this one, the new democracy... Worldwide protest against Bevan Svorza plan. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. The new democracy gives you more political power weekly. Or just stability. Less war support. Alright, so that's that, that's that stuff. I said ourselves our Soviet brothers. Links with Eastern Bloc. Soviet loans. That's not bad. We also get Soviet technical aid. Ooh, we get another research lot. I like that a lot. We can really use this. Align with Stalin. That'd be good. Nationalism for big industries. Spare some landlords. I don't know about that. Yuan ref Ooh, Yuan reform. That'd be really good to get as well. Um, expand the railways. Uh, I don't really want to do that one since we're not really building roads yet, though. This would be really good to do, but still. Uh, mutual aid. We get more political power. Medium farm. Collectivization. Mixed economy. Okay. Oh, the Kabaka. Oh, the Korean War. Oh, crap. The Korean War is going on now. We are opposed to the line of compromise with imperialism. At the same time, we're going to tolerate the practice of only shouting against imperialism, but in actual fact, being afraid to fight it. Okay then. Um, I apologize if we just if we if you couldn't see that just because I might be got copyrighted from that. So I apologize if you can see it. So it is what it is. Nothing I can really do about that. Copyrights are are the death of my channel probably. So well, we'll see what what happens. When we send some volunteers to North Korea. The fall of Seoul. Wanna Busan? 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 We'll see what happens. Artil oh, yeah, artillery upgrade. What about nice? Um, get maybe get some of this stuff too. Sure, why not? Why not? Um, power plants? I mean, we just throw them in. It doesn't mean too much since we can't even build anything, anyways, right now. Why can't we say anything to North? They're doing extraordinarily well, which did happen historically, don't get me wrong. Civil War fervor is gone, which is fine, whatever. Managed suffrage, collaborations, occupied territories. I mean, we're on civilian oversight. This doesn't actually hurt us, but it doesn't give it any more compliance, which sucks. Holy crap. Daijon? Korea's not looking very good, which is good. The Republic of Korea. Um, what countries What countries do not have unique focus tree here? Peasant League... Oh, we get more weekly stability, though. 
Level 4 Party Supremacy. I like that one. Are we getting weekly stability? Oh, we are. 0.3. That's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Hey, what's up, Chinese buddies? Let's go. Let's go. Korea time. <laughs> Here, you can take that guy. It's fine for now. Let's go. God, imagine if I was sponsored by the PRC. That'd be so weird. Force attack. Last stand. Staff officer on siege artillery. Whoa, supply consumption goes way down. Oh, God, the Americans have shown up. Oh, God, oh, God. Get on the lines. Get on the lines. Come on, move your fat little tuchuses faster. All the Brits are here, too, I think. Okay, just hold the line, big boys. Hold the line. I said hold the line. Don't lose the line. Hold the line. God dang it. The Battle of Inchon. Oh, look at that, yeah. A daring move, definitely. Get in there, boys. You gotta hold them back. Hold back those hordes. God, they got a lot of guys. The second battle of Seoul. Oh! Oh, they've made it us in the rear. Rear invasion. Rear butthole invasion. Oh, no. Muchong. Muchong. John Harding's attacking, huh? Establishment of Messiaid or something like that. Interesting. Peasant League Administrators, Mongolian Dissolution with Stalin. All right, interesting news. Very interesting. Well, they, we, they need to be taught a lesson. We can help them out with a lesson. All right, so we got a lot more stability. I want to get this stuff, but I want to get this research level. I think that'd be so good. Construction speed plus 45%. That's so good. But our Soviet brothers, yes. Pulse stick, financial pulse stick. Um, no, I think, I'm feeling pretty good about this one right here. Yeah, withdraw from Korea. We have to be war with them. Or peace with them, okay. Oh, oh god, it just flipped to negative. Oh my gosh. This is bloody, man. Our GDP actually went down. Look at that. Our growth rate went. Why is it going down so much? What happened? Why is our growth rate so bad year over year? We need more. We need more things. Oh! Oh! Oh crap! Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, they are flooding through here. Go and retreat. Oh god, they're cutting us off. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good, that's not good. Get out, get out, get out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get out, get out, get out. Move, move, move. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up. Oh, come on, move your fat butts. Move your fat booties. We don't want to get encircled down here. <laughs> we have to get a massive rush of soldiers. That's so, so something. I'm not sure what to say. Hey, yeah, that's totally, that's totally okay, guys. Just leave, just leave. Our Soviet brothers. Links with the Eastern Bloc, yes. The capitalist world will oppose us at every turn to ensure that we can rebuild our economy and grow the People's Republic. Then we must establish closer ties with the Eastern Bloc. Only through mutual cooperation shall we all grow. Um, anything else? No, not really. Nothing I really see that's different. Can we get some political power, please? I mean, my goodness, it sucks with not getting any PP. Where are our divisions? How are you? Are you learning anything? Yeah, you are. That's good, but still. If you need a retreat, like, I'd rather you lose up here than lose down here. I'll be honest, man. That's totally fine. Please don't lose Pyongyang. Like, this is insane. How many guys these guys sent over? Holy crud. Go in there, guys. Uh, do you have any upgrades at all yourself? No. He's not bad on defense, though. I remember, like, historically, they pushed all the way down to Pusan, and, or something like that, and they pushed all the way up to here, and then we pushed them back, and then went right there, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're giving them, hopefully, a run for our, their money, but we'll see. Also, we have nuclear powers. The USSR and America, of course. Wait, what is this? Strike readiness? What the heck? The execution of Cho Man Sik. Alright, concerning. Hey, and then let's grab te Soviet technical aid. Great! What are we missing? Oh, we're missing so much stuff. How can we ever imagine to have enough stuff to, like, use over here? Man, if you lose, that's not good. Don't lose, man. Don't lose. Oh, oh, we got... Oh, nope, 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 nope. I didn't lose that division. You didn't see anything there. You did not see anything. 
Seriously, how is this not costly for the Americans and Brits? Seriously. Like, bruh. They love attacking here. They just love attacking. What What is the war like? Seriously. Um, current wars. Korean War. That's a lot of dead. That's a lot of dead. I want to see how many losses the Americans have suffered. Cause it, and the Brits, too. You can get a better loan from the USSR. It's not bad. Do not attack. Do not attack. Hold your hold your booties. Hold your booties. If you need to retreat, that's totally fine. Oh, that's just that's just some other division. Cool. That's actually really good. A lot of the stones, okay. Let's nationalize the four families industries first, though. We can't build Jack Squat though. God dang it. Eastern trade block, World War II computers are very nice to have. Very good. Anti-tank upgrades, very Oh, we got a lot of stuff done. More weapon types, research speed, yes. Let's grab some more early computer theory. We have five research slots. Researching high levels of supercomputers, sure, why not? And what else do we have here? Command power increase, mobilization speed. Um I'm gonna wait for all this stuff. Uh what is this? Radar arrays, office park income decryption. That'd be kinda nice. Get some more command power though. I think that'd be really beneficial. Oh. Outdated equipment in production. Infantry equipment. Ah, yes. Good. Thank you. Oh, we have another one, too. Oh, wow. We have so much. Cool. Let's go with this one. Um, we're already doing that one, so... Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Some better artillery. Oh, we, oh, we upgrade artillery ammunition. Okay. Interesting. Sure. Why not? Did we get over... No, we did not get over... Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. How are we supposed to hold these guys off? Like, seriously. We're literally still recovering from the Civil War. So, yeah. Oh, they're breaking through like crazy. I wanted this to be historical, man. What the heck? Well, this technically did happen historically, but still. Donut attack. Donut attack. Donut attack. It is still 50, 1950, so we'll see what happens. Oh, we get, oh they have demographics? Jesus Christ. That's kind of cool, actually. Soviet loans are small, allow small businesses. Um, spare some landlords. Weaken Agarian bourgeois with protected landlords. Um, there's that one. Weaken Agarian. Lose political power, gets better consumer goods, but... That's not really worth it, is it? Mutual aid teams? Eh. Execute the hated landlords, okay? Okay, then. Um, I guess we'll go with a lot of small private businesses. We'll see what happens. Or so we're still in our experimental phase. Is that the Spanish? That is Spanish. They traded sides, man. Oh, no. The main, oh, my gosh. Uh, we're going to lose Pyongyang, aren't we? I don't like that, man. There's literally nothing we can do, though. We don't, we, and we don't even have air superiority. Wow. Okay. Look at that plane. Um, we literally don't even have planes, really. Like, we have bas basically have none. So. Our GDP is a little better, though. Look at that. 0. 0.131. Don't worry about attacking. Seriously, don't worry about it. Alright, not great. We're going to lose Pyongyang. That's going to suck. And Pyongyang is gone. God dang it. Coalition forces approaches the Yalu River. All right, so that's intervention time. Well, I guess it's intervention time, people. Let's get on the border, people. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. So, can we intervene now? Oh, we can. Okay, we, we can we can do it. They get the anti-communist block. Let's go, 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 go before they capitulate. Come on, come on, come on. Let's move, move, move. I should have been ready for this a little bit earlier. Um, how close are they? Oh, they're not that close to capitulation. Let's go ahead and go to spare some landlords. We gotta cross the river. We really do. Fight against the Imperials. Division plus 300 attack. Plus 100% defense. Jesus Christ. Um, I wanna give us just a little bit more time before we go. Before we go. We just got they just gotta hold out a little longer. Just a little longer, please. Don't lose too many more places. Our soldiers are holding out valiantly, which is great, 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 great. Um screw it, we're just gonna need a new guy here. Promote him. Pang. Pang pang. Let's go, 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 go. Get on the line, god dang it. We're going in now. Screw it. We're crossing the river. 
The People's Volunteer Army enters Korea. The first commander commissar of the People's Volunteer Army, Pang Do De Hui, has announced today that his forces shall be entering the DPRK in order to support it. The regime that is led by the Kim Il Sung is affable towards the PRC and towards Chairman Mao in particular. The Chinese leaders vowed to defend the DPRK and to support who, uh, it whenever necessary. It seems that this army composes thousands of soldiers that are determined to help their Korean brothers in arms against the forces supported by the U.S. At the moment, there is an assortment of insecurities regarding the future of the Korean Peninsula, but Chairman Mao seems confident that the end of the war is near, and a red flag will fly over the peninsula. Let's go, and boys. It's time to end the imperialist menace. We're going in. Unassigned divisions. Oh, oh, look at that. Cool. We actually have some divisions here. The 118th division. Oh, they're 40 combos as well. Nice. Um, you are mountaineers, it looks like. 20 combos. I'm just going to throw you over here. Because I do want to combine you guys a little bit. You guys are what? 40 combos as well. We got a lot of special forces here, so that's actually really cool. Go, 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 go. And transfer. We are at war with these guys at Republic of Korea. It's fine with us. It's fine. Just keep attacking for now, at least. Or defending, at the very least. Get on and in the line. we got enough bodies forever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They did not expect us to get, get to come down here, I bet. They're going to lose a lot of manpower. And hopefully we do okay. Supplies might be an issue down here. So, actually, I'm going to tell you guys to go home. Go home. Come down here. Get out of here. Let the infantry deal with it for now. Nice. Go home. Cool. And mutual aid teams. Cool. More political power, more stability, a lot more political power game. Uh, we lose some consumer goods, which sucks, but we'll see what happens. The Waldheim my process. Good. Did you have anything over here? Your offensive infantry expert, that'd be good. You guys are the same thing, infantry expert, that's good. It's somewhat hard to tell, like I said earlier, like, to see who has upgrades and whatnot, so. Oh, unassigned division's nice. We've lost 41,000. We've inflicted 75,000, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Come on, keep it up. The Koreans cannot deal, continue this. They just cannot. I don't think they can. How are we losing? I get it. They're mountains, and they do have air superiority, probably. But still. And it's over river? God dang it. Come on. Uh, keep it up. Come on, USA. You gotta have some sort of, like, domestic, like, discontent with the war. Like, it doesn't make any sense that you would not have any... Execute the hated landlords. The landlords of China are our chief enemy. They must be eliminated to begin substantial land reform. Nice. Early computer theory is nice. Uh, more weapon taps sounds like a good idea to get. Land doctrine is still going along, which is good, 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 good. We need the tap 66 next. Well, if we can, but we can't quite do get there yet. Let's get some more anti-tank. We're going to need it right now. Says we're slowly winning. Slowly, 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 slowly. I'm doing this so inefficiently too. I, I, I apologize, but still. Oh, we won down here. Good. That'll help us take back Pyongyang. Oh, yes, yes, yes. God dang it. Help attack him. Alright. Policy cooldown. We've lost... 100,000 versus 131,000, I guess. Oh, we're flooding down through here. That's good, good, good. Help attack through here. They just have so much armor. I wish we had armor. Like, we do, but it's just so bad for attrition and such. You know? We're flooding through back through here. Execute the hated landlords. Oh, look at this. 
Cool. Both Kang Sheng and Ren Bishi, one of the key members of the intelligence apparatus of China and the 5th Red Army Commander, respectively affirmed that a violent campaign against the landlords in China was inevitable. As 30 million landlords and rich peasants would have been destroyed today, the Hellsman has declared that every peasant must take the fight to the landlord and kill them with their bare hands. Mao has expressed a desire to not correct excesses prematurely, and has adopted a live and let live policy to the violence that is currently occurring throughout all of China. The CPC has not endorsed nor sanctioned uh, the physical violence of the peasants against the landlords who are being hanged, buried alive, uh, dismembered and shot. In the streets, they matter do di zu or fight the landlord. It appears that Chairman Mao is building support for the party with all the means necessary. Interesting. The Treaty of San Francisco. Um, officially end Japan's position as an imperial power. Okay, success for the UN Charter. Well, let's we'll see about that. We can assume leadership of the faction. Um, okay. Pay off debt. Economic aid. 2% consumer goods reduction. Okay, that's not bad. Start influencing nation. How do we do that? Take over faction. That's a lot of PP, though. All right, cool. Why not? Not sure it really does anything for us, but whatever. So we, got, we kill the landlords. Expand the rail, railways. Electrification campaign. Let's do that one. That seems like a good idea. We're losing most of these battles, which sucks. So it says we can still do really well, though. I mean, I'll be honest. How can the Americans keep up with this production of tanks? It makes literally no sense to me. So yeah. Come on, just take Pyongyang back. At least get Pyongyang back. For the love of God, just get it back. We can't pierce them, but their organization is dropping quickly. Ish. Ish. Come on, Pyongyang. Come on. Ninety percent. Jesus Christ. Come on, go a little higher. Just a little bit more. I mean, if they're using mountains, or they have tanks and mountains. They should just be getting destroyed here. Like, I understand it's mountains and such. But Jesus Christ. It is mountains. Where is the attrition? Greece. Greece. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, oh, look at this. Replace hyperinflation with very high inflation. Good. That looks a lot better. Our, yes, yes. Type 66 stuff would be good. Come on. 80%. 88%. 89%. Alright, so for this part, we're just going to stop attacking like this like crazy. It's not too smart to attack like this. Pyongyang, it should have fallen already. I'm, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Why is it taking so ungodly long to take out one flippin' bad word city? I mean, come on. So stupid. At this point, they're not going to be able to beat us. Like, either they give up... Or they're just gonna, we're just going to attrition ourselves out. Like, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Why are they not suffering from attrition? That doesn't make any sense at all. And we are? <sighs> come on. You want to attack? Uh, come on, attack then. No, this way. This, this way. Right, we're building a physical system. Okay, killing off of some guy here. It's so hard to see. I don't like this. It's so hard to see. Like, if I click on this division... Which one is it? He long? It's so hard to see. Like it needs to be color. It really needs to be color coded. So, because I'm going to force the attack. I don't care. You're going to win or die. Win or die here. An invasion of Laos. Urgent news has arisen. It seems that North Vietnam is seized in the Che Pon district near the DMZ between North and South Vietnam. Hanoi claims that the villages have historically been a part of Vietnam for centuries. Soon enough, widespread fighting was seen all over the border of the North Vietnam Laos. The Vietnamese tactics were intended to open a trail into the Che Pon district in what was to be known as Ho Chi Minh's Trail. Is this the twilight of French colonialism? Maybe. A balanced budget. Yes. Oh, that looks so much better. Do we actually have. Oh, we actually can build things. Finally. Thank God we can actually build things. Go in. You're going in here too. I don't give a crap what happens. You're going to either win or die. Win or die. Look at that. Look at this. A single tank division holding out against us. Are you kidding me? Lin Bao. Chen. That'll be good to get rid of. I seriously don't care how many Chinese people we have to kill off to win here. I really don't. Seriously, where's the whole war exhaustion mechanic? They need a war exhaustion mechanic here. Because this makes literally no sense. Look at that. Look how weak the Greeks are. 
How are these tanks? We can't see the enemy tanks. I like this. That looks really cool. Um, direct fire gun too. Cool. What else do we have? Combat vehicles, support equipment, um, signal support. Uh, we definitely need to focus more on guns. Piercing would be good. This is so stupid. You just choose not to win. You just can't win, huh? Well, we're going to be here in Korea forever then. Expand the railways? Only by connecting all of China. Will we be able to spread the glory of communism? We must heavily into the railways and begin the long process of connecting China. I mean, like, like seriously. Seriously. Why is there no war exhaustion mechanic? This mod needs it, if it doesn't have it already. We even have air superiority. Come on, man. Go, go. I'm disappointed. I, I honestly am very disappointed. Like, this is stupid. Like, I get these divisions aren't very good. They're just infantry. But this is stupid. How can you pierce these guys? You can't pierce them. So. Well, doing anything with these guys sucks. I'm sorry, but this is stupid. This is really stupid. The PRC can't even blow through these guys and get them back to the parallel line here, whatever it was, the 53rd or something like that? Pfft. Resist America's aid to South uh, South uh, Korea. Keep the capitals out of the DMZ. Expand the railways. Yuan reform would be good. High inflation would be good to get rid of. Um, yeah, this is dumb. Launch of Deutscher Fernsehfunk. Alright. And they're just going to attack all willy-nilly again and again and again and again. And they cut us off. Are you kidding me? Are you... I'm sorry. I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed with this. What are we supposed to do? There's nothing... There's literally nothing you can do about this. I can send these guys in, but you can't do anything because they've got too much attrition there. <sighs> I'll take the reforms, definitely, but still. You're just supposed to sit here? I guess. If that's what the devs intended. Force it into here. Reform's nice. Win the work. And develop steel industry? We can do that. Oops, oh, yeah, let's lose that one first. Can you just push through somewhere here? Just, just please. Just get something done. No, you can't? Okay, that's pretty typical. You suck. You really suck. Because we can't pierce anything. Even with their superiority. MacArthur just to Congress. Old soldiers never die. I, what, what are you doing? I mean, look at that. Look at all the attrition we get. Ticker tape parade in New York. People love them. Well, that's nice. There's no point in sending these guys even over because there's so much god dang attrition. So, I'm not really sure what I can do about this, so. Excuse me, can I grab these divisions for the love of God? No, I can't. Okay, then. Alright. Alright. I mean, look at this. Just, it's... <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Um, if you want to read about borrow Soviet computer technology, I'm going to probably do this one off screen, but hey, let me know what I'm doing wrong, because I don't know. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.